Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well and that life is treating you okay. Have I got, okay, my mic is on. Firstly, hopefully the audio is better today. Uh, I accidentally changed the settings on my microphone, which means the last two videos I've been super duper quiet. Uh, that was my bad. I'm now just really paranoid that the sound's gonna be really bad. I am gonna be doing my monthly favorites today. Obviously this month has been absolutely insane. Um, we've had a very strange month, but I'm gonna talk about some beauty products, a few kind of lifestyle-y things, but if you wanna hear a little bit more about things that I've been doing to stay sane, keep myself occupied, keep myself moving, keep myself active, um, if you wanna hear a little bit more about that, check out my last video. No, the video before last. The video where I was testing out the Fenty products. I also did a little bit of like a tips to keep busy kind of, Thing. So if you want to know more about my lifestyle favorites of the month, watch that video as well. Today I'm going to be talking about loads of makeup, hair, a few lifestyle -y things, don't get me wrong because that's what this channel is about, but uh, yeah. And of course, Project 10 Pan, we have finally got some updates. Yeah, everything is linked down below. Let's get on with it. Grab yourself your hot beverage of choice as well, preferably in one of my mugs. I just wanted a really big bug today. <laughs> Let's start with makeup. So I have quite a few makeup favorites this month. There were some new launches that I'm super excited about and a few kind of oldie goldies oldie goldie so let's start with my favorite concealer of the month this is benefit boing cakeless concealer i use this in the shade six this concealer is insane it's so 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 good it calls itself the cakeless concealer it claims to be creaseless and it is it's a very unique consistency it's kind of like almost rubbery so like when it blends together it kind of creates like a film almost self set so you do need to work kind of quickly with this because it does set but it does not crease it doesn't budge it doesn't move and the shade six is perfect for me it's got that lovely kind of peachy undertone so it really really counters that counters acts. Sorry, I just did my hair and I'm breathing in dry shampoo. It really helps to counteract any blue under your eyes because it's got that peachiness to it. And it's also just the right shade. It's not too light, it's not too dark. I'm kind of over the super bright under eye. I just like to look kind of seamless, nice and cohesive um, and use, you know, contour to create depth. It is actually nearly empty. I need to get myself a new one. Oh my God. I was about to say I need to get myself a new one. I can't get myself a new one, Project 10 Pan. When this is gone, this is gone until I... That's really sad. Really good, I've been using this every day. I use this all over my face. I use it on blemishes. It's got really good coverage. I just love this concealer. It's some good ish. Sticking with complexion products, I don't think this will be a surprise to you guys, but this month I discovered Fenty's new cream products and I didn't discover it. They launched it. They sent it to me. I fell in love. These are amazing. So these are the, what are they called? The Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer and the Freestyle Cream Blush. I like Honey Glaze. It's a nice warm color. I like a nice warm bronze. I'm wearing it today. It's gorgeous. It's so lovely. If you want like a more detailed review, um, again, check out my testing Fenty video because that was really recently. So I'm not gonna go on about these too much, but I absolutely love this bronzer. The way it sits on my skin is just dreamy, dreamy. Blush I am wearing right now is Daiquiri Dip. Mine is absolutely filthy because I've been wearing it so much. I am wearing it like basically anywhere where the sun would naturally hit and it just makes you look like you've been on the beach like it makes your skin look so luminous and glowy but gives you that lovely pop of color it can be worn really sheerly but also you can build it up and make it nice and pigmented and i just love it i just love this color it's just stunning and if you haven't tried these yet i definitely recommend that you do and then actually another product from the new fenty launch is their diamond bomb all over diamond veil in cognac candy i'm also wearing that today i'm wearing it the same way i wore it in my testing fenty video kind of like a bronze topper and it just like adds so much glow so much sheen it's such a stunning product the original how many carrots is like one of my all-time favorite products ever um, and now they've got this shade, it just, oh, 
It's just gorgeous, look at that. Another huge favorite of the month have been the new L'Oreal Paris. What are these called? The shiny color ink lip glosses. They're kind of like a lip stain, liquid lipstick, lip gloss hybrid. They are gorgeous. They do remind me a bit of the NARS Velvet Lip Glides. Oh my god, what was the color I used to love? I don't think I have that. I need to dig that out. I've been on like a matte lip wave for probably like three years now and gloss is back and when I saw these and I swatched this color, this is the color Be Brilliant which you've seen me wear. It's like a gorgeous like corally pinky red such a stunning color you've seen me wear that in a couple of videos now it's the color i was wearing in my haul and the color that i'm actually wearing right now is be independent which is kind of like a, it's a peachy nude i mean i'm wearing it you can probably see it better on my on my lips than on my hand these don't feel sticky but they've got a lovely amount of pigment but a gorgeous amount of shine to them so so nice and they last all day on your lips they're stunning they do transfer like if you kiss someone on the cheek or something it does come off it is like a lip gloss it feels balmy it's oh, they're just they're so good and they make your lips look so like juicy and plum it's just divine i love them i really love them and they're really really affordable they're l'oreal so great great speaking of affordable I tried out a new mascara this month that I got sent a long time ago. I've had this in my collection for a good long while. I didn't try it, I never gave it a go. And then I was watching a Bailey Sarian video, who I love every month. She was talking about this mascara and I was like, I recognize that. And I realized that I had it in my collection. It is the Essence Lash Princess false lash effect mascara so of course i dug it out and i gave it a go and i really really like it it's not as dramatic as my usual mascaras so i know last month i featured a mascara two mascaras in two favorites videos quite a lot i don't usually change my mascara up that much but last month i talked about the toy boy mascara which i absolutely love as well and i'm still using it but it just depends on what kind of mood i'm in this is a much more natural mascara it's really separating it creates a nice amount of volume it's really dark um, and it's pretty lengthening as well but it's just not that thick heavy lash look mascara that um, the toy boy is. I'm going for a slightly more kind of natural makeup at the minute and this really just ties in with that look really well. It doesn't look heavy. The only downside is it, it, it does transfer a little bit. So make sure you kind of set under your eye, which is the only downfall, but this is like three pounds. I didn't know how affordable it was, but um, when I was, you know, finding my products to link in the description box of my last makeup video, I went onto the website to link this and I saw that it was only like £3.50 or something. And I was like, what? If you want a really, really good, really affordable mascara, the Essence Lash Princess is great. And it is linked down below if you want to give it a go. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum, <laughs> a slightly less affordable product is a really, really old school product. This is Charlotte's Magic Cream um, from Charlotte Tilbury. This is such a cult classic loved product. And I have been through a couple of tubs of these in the past. And when I used up my last tub, I knew I had one of these, but I just didn't open it. At the end of last month, um, I saw this in my drawer and I was like, oh my God, I have not used that cream in so, so long. So I pulled it out whacked it on my face and I've been using it so much since. I still love my Ren moisturizer and I use that on a day where I'm not wearing makeup or you know when I first do my skincare routine I'll pop that on but I use this kind of like a prep stage for my makeup so I don't wear this as a moisturizer as such. If I wasn't wearing makeup I wouldn't use this. I use this almost like a primer to my primer. It just looks gorgeous under makeup, gives your skin this amazing glow, and it has got skincare benefits in it, but for like a skincare product, I would use other moisturizers. Do you know what I mean? Like for me, it's a kind of an in-between moisturizer and primer but I also use moisturizer and I also use primer. <laughs> if I'm doing my skincare routine just before my makeup, I'll use this as the moisturizing step. 
Are you following? It smells amazing. It's, it smells expensive because it is expensive. This shit ain't cheap. But I know that it's this product that Charlotte Tilbury's like perfected over years and it is just loved by so many people and I completely understand why. My skin just looks gorgeous. It's thick, it's creamy, it's moisturizing and I do love this. I've got a body product that I've been loving. This is the Tan Lux Super Glow Body Hyaluronic Self Tanning Serum. For a start, I love this packaging. It's like frosted glass. It looks really chic and it looks just so much nicer than all my other fake tans. Like fake tan, it's just one of those things that looks so ugly in your bathroom. It's messy, it gets brown all over it, then it goes kind of green. And the packaging is just like, I don't know. I got a bit of hate once for saying that loads of different packaging in my bathroom gives me a headache. It doesn't actually give me a headache. I just like the packaging to look cohesive. And I feel like this fits the aesthetic of my bathroom rather than like every other self tanner I have. But this is a self tanning serum. They kind of brand it as like skincare for your, your body, which I understand that all body creams are skincare, like all your body is skin. It's any kind of skincare is skincare for your body and for your face. Like, I don't know, something about it just made me want it. Even though all body care is skincare for your body, that is what it is. That is literally the definition of body care. This is a gradual tanner. It is really thin and it smells nice. Like it doesn't smell like fake tan at all. Like I said, it's a gradual tanner. So I just pop it on in the morning or pop it on on in the evening um, if I have a bath I'll pop it on after that and I kind of use it in place of like a moisturizer like a body cream because it's super hydrating and also just gives you a little bit of a glow I do wear fake tan but I like this in between tans just to keep the kind of overall skin tone slightly more even and as my kind of more hardcore like six hour developing tan starts to wear off. This I find fills in the gaps a little bit and also just keeps your skin hydrated, which prolongs the length of tan. So if you're a more of a natural kind of light glow girl, you could just wear this. Or if you're like me and you're a hardcore fake tanner, this is a great kind of interlude to keep your tan looking nice and fresh. Um, and it looks nice in your bathroom and it smells nice as well. And now onto hair. Now, I don't think I've ever got more questions on my hair than I have in the past few videos. The hair tool that I have been loving is the Tony and Guy, what's it called, Deep Waver? Um, I'll link it down below. It's really not expensive, it's less than 30 pounds. It's just like a giant crimper. It looks like this. And you just go boop, 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 boop. I think I will do a hair tutorial because then I can talk about the products that I love as well. This just creates the most gorgeous, textured, beachy. Is her hair naturally like that or has she done something to it like kind of look, which is what I personally really like. To me, this is like proper boho, beachy hair that I, I just love. This is how I wish my hair was naturally. My cousin's hair is like this naturally. And growing up, I would always just look at her hair and be like, why? Why does my hair not look like that? But she used to straighten her hair and I would always be like, you always want what you can't have. Grass is always greener. And now I can have it. My hair is pretty poker straight. So the fact that I can get this much kind of tussled, beachy volume in like five minutes is pretty amazing. It's a lot of heat on your hair. It's not good for your hair. But this will last me now for, so today is Tuesday. This will last me until like, Saturday probably. I only have to style my hair kind of once a week with this because the you know it gets messier and messier and that kind of just adds to the look. And then in terms of products, the ones that I've been using with this kind of style, I love the IG key. IG key. Ah! I love the IGK um, Beach Club Texture Spray. This is another product that I've used for years. Um, this is like my third can it smells really nice it smells like summer to me it's not like a salt spray it's more like a texturizing spray so it doesn't give you that crispy kind of salty 
feeling, but it gives you the look that a salt spray can give you without drying out your hair like a salt spray does. I used to love salt sprays when I was younger. I like to get this look would take me so long and I would scrunch and scrunch and scrunch. And now it takes me no time at all. I don't even need to use a freaking salt spray. Just a little bit of texture spray. I like this one. I love the Cool Girl texture spray um, from Sam McKnight, but mine's actually empty. I love the Way texturizing spray. I just love a texture spray, but this is the one I've been using at the moment and I love it. Another hair product that I've been loving that is a oldie but goldie, this is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, I highly recommend that you do. Um, I did a IGTV in collaboration with Beauty Bay last week, I think it would have been. They wanted me to talk about a few clean beauty and kind of sustainable brands that I really like and kind of showcase a few that they have for um, Earth Day. And one of the brands that I talked about is Amika because I have loved Amika for so many years. Um, back in my days of working at Sally's, I remember when they originally launched and they first came into stores and I had to set up the um, display for it and put all of these products out. And I remember just like putting them away and being like, oh my God, these products look amazing like they smell amazing the packaging is just to die for like that is such it's so like 70s it really stands out and it made me want to try everything so with my employee discount i did try everything and i used to only really use amika because i was just so interested by it and wanted to try so many of the product and one of my favorites that I tried was the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. So when Beauty Bay would like pick out a few products to talk about and I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I have to get that. And I'm so glad that I've got it back in my life because it's a really good dry shampoo. It does leave a little bit of a white cast, but you just massage it in, brush it out and it goes away completely. But it does just absorb all the oil doesn't make your hair feel dry and it's quite a lightweight dry shampoo but it is really effective which is what I want like I want to get the balance right without my hair feeling hard and crispy also actually doing what I needed it to do and it also smells really good it doesn't smell like dry shampoo-y but yeah it doesn't have any talc in it and um, the packaging is recyclable and yeah. So yeah, those are all my beauty favorites. Lots and lots of beauty favorites this month. I've really been enjoying like skincare and getting myself looking better, making myself look and feel. I lied, I have another favorite. And this is a biggie, I nearly, oh, nearly left out one of my biggest favorites of the month. One of my biggest favorites of the month that I can't believe I nearly just missed, the Pixie Detoxify Depuffing Eye Patches. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've not been sleeping crazy well in this whole isolation period. I have been having crazy dreams, waking up in the middle of the night, waking up really early and I've just, my sleep has just not been to the standard that I need. When I wake up, my eyes are so puffy and I've never really been one to struggle with puffiness in my eyes. Like I get it sometimes, but it's been like every morning I wake up and my eyes actually look swollen. So I've been using these, the Pixie eye patches. You probably have seen me wearing them throughout the vlogs. I put these on before I do my makeup, while I do my yoga in the morning, while I do my eyeshadow and I use them to like catch the fall down. They're just so soothing and cooling on your eyes and I really see a difference in the puffiness. And I basically, like they say to leave them on for like 20 minutes I think, but um, I literally leave them on until they're completely shriveled up and starting to fall off. <laughs> Cause I just think they feel so, so nice on your face. Infused with cucumber and gold to help soothe your under eyes. Hyaluronic acid and caffeine smooths and depuffs, aiding in reducing dark circles. They basically just help to rehydrate the skin under your eyes, which just plumps them and reduces the lines um, and also cools and soothes puffiness. I've been wearing these literally every day. Um, I feel really bougie when I do, but if you can't walk around with eye masks on during a pandemic, when the hell can you? When the hell can you? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. When the hell can you? Why does that not sound like it makes sense? It does make sense, that is right. I've forgotten how to speak English. That is what's going on. Okay, now those are all of the beauty favorites done. On to lifestyle. The majority of my lifestyle favorites I talked about, like I said, in my previous makeup video. So 
check that out if you'd like to hear a bit more about them. But I've been really enjoying my workouts. So I've been following Natasha Oceans at home workout guide and I don't follow it to a T. I probably do like three of them a week and then I scatter in my own thing. I try and do all five, but not every week is perfect and I'm not perfect and I do skip sometimes. I've been trying to do at least three of my Natasha's and then I like scatter in my own things. So be it a little bit of a cardio workout, a bit of Zumba or my own kind of weights, like little circuit, just depending on what I feel like on the day. I'm really, I'm trying to be active as much as I can, but I'm also not putting crazy amounts of pressure on myself because what is the point in adding more pressure to already quite a volatile time. <laughs> I'm just trying to get through it. I have been enjoying working out and I have been enjoying Natasha's videos um, and her training guide. That's been really helpful just to have some sort of structure. I'm not 100% perfect. Another thing that I've been loving kind of fitness wise is yoga. Um, me and three of my friends have been doing yoga with Adrian's 30 day challenge. I think Adrian is like my spirit animal. I really just aspire to be her. She is so freaking calm. Like her voice is like ASMR to me. And like the second she starts speaking, I just close my eyes and I'm like, oh my God, I could listen to you talk all day. A dog is my dream. He's adorable, little Benji. I just really love yoga. Like. It is something that I'm so happy I've kind of really introduced into my routine. And every day I think I say to Tim, like, I can't wait to do my yoga tomorrow because I'll do it and then I'll be sad that it's over and I'll look forward to doing it the next day. When this 30 day challenge is over, I'm definitely gonna continue to do it because even days where I don't work out per se, I feel like I've done something beneficial to my body. I've stretched it out. I've built a little bit of strength, you know, like some of it is strength and body weight training. It's just a much more peaceful way of training to what I'm used to. And there is nothing wrong with that. It is training for your body, but also training for your mind. And I just think it's such a great tool to have. So I've been loving that. That's definitely one of my biggest favorites of the whole month. And if you're um, new to yoga, Yoga with Adrian is such a great way to learn. She's an excellent teacher and I love her shit. Yeah, that's probably my biggest favorite. You guys know about the Jason Mraz live streams that I'm obsessed with. So those are all of my favorites, tangible and physical, as well as enjoyable things I've been doing. On to Project 10 Pan. So we have a development, guys. It's kind of a big deal. This bastard is finally empty. It's gone, it's empty. I finished another product in my 10 pan. I am one step closer to being able to repurchase something that I want, I'm thrilled. So yeah, this is the NARS Press Powder in the shade Beach. One of my favorite powders of all time. So it is bittersweet that it's empty because I now can't buy a new one until this whole thing's over. If you're new around here, I do Project 10 Pan. There are 10 products that I need to finish before I'm allowed to purchase anything new. So I've not bought any beauty products um, since January or December last year, but I do get sent PR. So it does make things a bit easier for me just if you're new here. It's empty, which means I now need to add something into my Project 10 pan. I already have like a huge backlog of things that I want to add, bear with me. I know that this may seem silly because I just talked about a mascara, but I'm gonna put a mascara into my Project 10 pan. This is the Yves Saint Laurent, the YSL Mascara Volume Effect Fossil Mascara. This mascara is stupid expensive and I've had it for a while and I use it every once in a while, but I want to get my money's worth. I want to use this up. So this is my next addition to Project 10 Pan. Hopefully I will finish this this month and then be able to add something new as well. So this can now go in my empties box. Hooray, a freaking ray. Give me a second. The NARS palette, I said that I wanted to finish three colors and hit pan on two colors for me to say that I like completed it. We're making moves here, guys. We have hit pan on the first color and we are near to hitting pan on the second. We've actually got significant dents in one, two, three, four colors now and one is hit pan. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. It is just my kind of go-to. This foundation 
It's like a bottomless pit. Every time I think this is the last use, this is the last use, but you can't see it because it's an opaque bottle. But I do think that this will be in next month's empties. Hula, I, I'm using this every day like I do and it just doesn't go down. Like, <laughs> I literally just use it to contour my nose. That's the only thing I use this product for. It's gonna take me forever. This product, if this is not an empty next month, I'm gonna resign. I can't do it anymore. Come to you every single month and tell you that this isn't empty. I, I don't understand. <laughs> Don't understand how this is still going. I use it every time I wear makeup and I use so much of it just to try and get through it and it just never ends. So this is still going. I want three empties next month and I'm gonna make that happen. You guys, tweet me or comment on my freaking Instagram and say, Emma, do your makeup and use your empties because I need to get through these. I'm gonna come to you next week, I mean month, not next week. And these three products are gonna be empty. And on top of that, I will have hit pan on another color in this palette. Okay? Okay? That is what's gonna happen. And there is nothing you can do about it. That is what's gonna happen. I have made my decision. <sighs> but at least we got one, hey? One empty. That's better than none. One is better than none. This video is getting quite long, so I'm gonna go. I really hope you guys enjoyed and you learn about some new products today and they are all linked down below if you'd like to give them a try. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave down below your favorite product, your favorite song, your favorite TV show. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about TV. Oh God. That's like a whole thing to be fair. Ozark. That's all. Ozark. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, please make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know your favorite of the month and give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have the best day and I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye.